let's explore risk phi open isc risk phi isc defines various things like unprivileged architecture and privileged architecture as part of the unprivileged architecture it defines the registers overall there are 32 general purpose registers there is a special register called program counter the width of the registers is 32 bits in the case of rb32i isa it's 32 bits in the case of 64 isa rb64i it could be 64 bits and similarly for rb128i it is 128 bits risk phi also defines base isa Overall, there are 40 instructions. There are various kinds of instructions like R type, I type, B type, J type, and many more. RISC-V also defines various standard extensions, multiplication and division, single precision and double precision floating point, atomic instructions, compressed instructions, and there could be various non-standard extensions. So this base ISA will be part of all kinds of implementations. Base ISA itself can be used for realizing any kind of customized accelerators. You can think of implementing all these standard extensions using base instructions itself. Whatever the software we implement, eventually everything will be compiled into RISC-V machine language. The RISC-V machine language will be executed in terms of instructions. So all the instructions will be stored as little Indian parcels in the memory. But the risk phi can also deal with big Indian and little Indian memory systems through privileged architecture. There are options available. risk phi ISA is a load store architecture. What it means is whatever the instructions the processor executes, everything will be executed using the registers. Overall, there are 32 registers. All the values like operands and intermediate values, everything can be stored within registers and it can be executed efficiently. It doesn't have to store any values in the memory. If at all, it has to deal with the external memory. Basically, it does explicit read and write through instructions called load store. That's why it's called load store architecture. So the important thing is risk phi has enough registers, more than 32 registers. During the execution, risk phi processor does everything with the help of registers. As part of the privileged architecture, risk phi defines machine ISA primarily to deal with interrupts, to implement traps, and for various things like memory protection. So, machine ISA defines CSR, control status registers, for various things. ABI, RISC-V provides application binary interface to interface with the AEE, application execution environment. In this case, ABI includes user level ISA and machine ISA. The application developer will use ABI to implement the application. ABI provides the interface and the necessary function calls. For example, how the software developers can use all these registers. Which register can be used as stack pointer? Which register can be used as global pointer? Which registers can be used as function arguments? Which register can be used for written values? All the things can be defined in the ABI, Application Binary Interface. risc for also defines Supervisor IAC to implement virtual memory management and for the memory protection. In this case, the register width is 32 bits. We are considering RV32I. So, we can think of addressing maximum 2 to the power 32 locations, which means 4 GB of memory. What if the memory is going to be bigger than 4 GB? If it is going to be 8 GB or 12 GB, how to deal with huge memories? Or if you are going to run 
complex software like operating system, obviously we can expect hundreds of applications to run in parallel. Though we are going to have huge memory, in this case we need to deal with hundreds of applications and we should be able to execute them efficiently using limited memory. In this case, even 8 GB would be very limited because there would be hundreds of applications running in parallel. That's where virtual memory management is required. So Supervisor IACA provides all the facilities like page translation table process for the virtual memory management. RISC-V provides an interface called SBI, Supervisor Binary Interface. It provides the interface for the operating system and the necessary function calls to interface with the SEE, Supervisor Execution Environment. So here, each application uses ABI, Application Binary Interface, to interface with the operating system. And the operating system uses SBI to interface with the SEE, which includes user-level IEC, machine IEC, and supervisor IEC. RISPI also defines hypervisor extension to deal with hypervisors. So RISPI provides an interface called HBI, Hypervisor Binary Interface, it provides the necessary function calls so that the hypervisor can interface with HEE, Hypervisor Execution Environment. So HBI includes user-level IEC, machine IEC, supervisor IEC, and hypervisor exchange. So here, look at this software stack. All the applications will interface with the operating system through ABI and the operating systems will interface with the hypervisor virtual machine through SBI and the hypervisor will interface with the execution environment using HBI. Also, RISC-V provides debug specification to deal with off-chip debugging. RISC-V also defines specification for PLIC platform level interrupt controller to interface with various external interrupts. There are four major IACs. You can visualize the RISC-V Open IACA as a family of IACs, RV32I, RV32E, the only difference is 16 registers, RV64I for 64 bits, RV128I for 128 bits. You can think of implementing various systems like simple embedded systems to secure embedded systems to systems running Unix-like operating system to cloud servers. So there are various instructions as part of base IEC. There are 40 instructions. And there are instructions for various extensions like multiplication and division, single precision and double precision floating point and compressed extensions. We will explore all these instructions as part of this training course. This is how you can visualize the RISC-V OpenISA.